Is anybody here? Hello? It's me, back again, Crazy Donna, with some specials. We'll see if anybody comes in. I see you. Ah, uh, there you are. Hi, guys. <laughs> There's Sharon and Dee's Collection, Lindsay, all my night owls. Hi, guys. Thanks for coming in. I just went and um, picked up Chezzy at school. She had a late volleyball game. It was an away game. And I thought, you know what? I think I'll go on for a little while. Valerie, hello, hello. Martin, hey guys. Flippinoki, welcome in. Thanks, you guys. Thanks for coming in. Such late notice, right? Hi, Heather. Hi, sweetheart. Lindsay, thanks, you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Might be a small crowd. I don't know. We'll see. There was like really no notification that was sent out. So, um, we'll just give it a few quick minutes and see if anybody else comes in. And if not, it's just going to be us. How was everybody's day? I'll tell you. I, um, I shipped most of the day. I invoiced. I did really, really good on my shipping. Still not caught up, but I don't think I'll ever get caught up. Not going on twice a day, right? It's really hard. to get caught up when you're on twice a day and you sell as often as I do, but that's okay. You guys are really great and very patient. So I appreciate it. I appreciate you guys coming in. I'm only going to stay on. Hey, Christopher. Good evening. I've got my shoes today. Yay. Did you open the box and be like, wait a minute, I didn't order Adidas or whatever kind of box I put them in. <laughs> I was thinking to myself, he's going to be so confused when he gets this box because <laughs> they fit so perfectly in that box to protect the box so that when you sell it, you can sell it with the box, right? So, yeah. Um, so that's what I did. John Jones. Hello, hello. I'm so glad you're here also. Thank you for coming in. You can entertain the crowd one second while I just go turn this off. I'll be right back. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to do some $5 starts. And, um, you know, some of you might want to start your Christmas shopping. Um, they'll go into combined orders. And we'll do them kind of quick. Okay? How's that sound? Look, this is your first item. It's a Superman shirt. Who doesn't want a Superman shirt? It's brand new. It's a $5 start, you guys. 2XL. What do you think? Who's interested in a brand new Superman shirt? Yeah. That's your first item. I was confused. I knew you would be. <laughs> I think I sold 11 lots this morning. So I'm going to call this lot number 12. Actually, I'm going to call it lot number one, and I'm just going to say evening shows so that I can um, keep my books straight. Hi, Heather. Pat D's. Hello, hello. All right. I buy shit comes in at five for the Superman shirt. Beetle gal. Hello, hello. Beetle Gal comes in at seven. Amy, I hope you're feeling better, honey. How are you feeling? Are you feeling okay? 12 to Beetle Gal. Um, I have your sad Sam that I haven't shipped out yet with your two burners. 
but I have something else I wanted to present, but I wanted to give everybody an option to buy it because it is kind of rare. If you remember me talking about Sad Sam and Honey, I found a Honey. So I was going to reach out to you, but someone sh saw her on the shelf. So I just wanted to make it fair. So I'm going to bring her. I'm going to start her at $5. And if the person who was interested in it isn't here, then then you can probably get it. Almost 100%. Now my husband is as almost 100%. Now my husband is as well. Wasn't he sick before you? I thought he was sick before you. I don't know. All right, we've got Christopher at 14. Beetle Gal went out, and I think those were the only two people bidding on it. So we're going to go once. We're going to sell it. And we're going to go twice. Christopher, this is going to look so nice on you. <laughs> For the fair warning. And let me grab my notes. Hi, Dora. Hi, honey. I owe you a phone call. I'm sorry. I saw that you called the other night, but I honestly, I just wasn't in the mood to chat. For $14. You're going to have to send me a picture of you wearing that unless you're buying it to resell. Because I think that that will look so cute on you. <laughs> And we are sold to I Buy Shit, lot number one, for $14. Oh, he's 16 years older than you, is he? Oh, I didn't know. Wow. God bless his heart. I hope he's okay. All right, I need to um I need to go get tape and I need to I'm gonna put this one on the board. This one here is the same thing, but this one is an XL instead of a 2XL. There you go. Let me just go get a piece of tape for this and a bucket. I buy shit. <laughs> I know, John. I buy shit. I know, I like to say shit. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, we've got Beetle Gal at seven. Anybody else? Let us know, Amy, if you want to come in. Think of Christmas, you guys. Lot number two, Superman. All right. Amy is out, and we're going to go once, we're going to go twice, we're going to do a fair warning, and we're going to be sold to Cool Ranch. Here 
for nine. Thanks, you guys, for coming in. I really appreciate it. 28 of you here. You guys are my superstars. Amy, Cool Ranch. And it was nine dollars. For the Superman shirt. Right. Moving right along, right? Let's do this t-shirt. What's this one say? This one is Borderlands 3. It must be gaming. Here, let me show you. And it's a size large. Hi, Shelly. Beetle Gal was nine. Oh, she was? Wait, I won? No, Beetle Gal won. Thank you. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. Beetle Gal won at $9. All right, let me change that. Okay, it's changed. We're good. Back on track. Sorry about the boo boo. Okay. Thank you, Dees. Thanks, guys. Okay. So this is it right here. And um, does anybody know who this is? Thank you, Lindsay. Let me just do this and put it on the board. And this is going to be a $5 start also. I'm guessing it's a video game. Does anybody know? And it's a size large. $5 start. And if there's no interest, we can pass. And I'll get something else. These are the people. If Saxton was here, she would know. Right? Pass. Okay, let's pass it. Let's pass it and let's do this. Department 56, Village Accessories, Mummy Mischief, $5 start, Mummy Spins Around. $5 start on that. Miss Pac-Man. Was that what it was? Didn't look like Miss Pac-Man. Department 56. Blue light special. Joyce, thank you so much for your payment, honey. Joyce comes in at 10. Joyce, one of your boxes, I think, is like 38 pounds, so do not lift it. I'm going to have Massimo put it in the truck for me to bring it to, um, to UPS. The other two boxes are lighter, but one box is super, super, super heavy, like so heavy. I probably could have split it up into three separate smaller boxes and the shipping would have cost me about the same. Um, but yeah, so, but I put it, it's, I got this uh, like triple cardboard box. I mean, it is, when I tell you huge, it's huge, huge, huge. So just be careful. 
Um, I hope somebody's home to help you. Roll it into the house. If no one's home, don't pick it up. Don't try to carry it. But it is packed so tight. And it worked out perfectly because I was able to use the stuffed animals like all around it to protect all of the houses. But it is massive, massive, massive. All right, we've got Joyce at 14. And I think those were the only two people bidding. And Christopher is out. So Joyce D gets the department 56 for $14. Did she win an anvil at auction? What's an anvil? I don't know what an anvil is. She won a lot of stuff at auction. She won a lot of really great stuff. My kids are going to want to come and move in with Joyce if she's keeping all that stuff for herself. Because she got some really beautiful stuff. I don't know what an anvil is. What's an anvil? <laughs> Someone's going to tell me. I don't know what it is. We're going once. We're going twice. And any updates, you guys, on that terrible story? I haven't had a chance to um, turn on the news. Joyce for $14. Does anybody know? Probably nothing, right? An anvil falls on a on the coyote when he chases the roadrunner. Oh. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Oh, yes, yes, yes. They use that for blacksmithing, right? Is that what they use that for? For like hitting metal or something? Is that is that is that what it is? I think that's what it is. I'm not sure. Okay, so Joyce gets that department 56. And then I have this department 56. It can be personalized, it says. And it's a five dollar start. And there it is. It's called the village sign. Moses, an anvil is what a blacksmith uses when making steel stuff. That's what I thought. Yes, pounding metal. Yep. Hello, Elizabeth. I submitted my form. Okay, let's see. Let me just make sure everything is correct. When did you, when did you, okay, there it is. I found it. Boca Raton. Elizabeth, Elizabeth. Welcome. My neighbor from the South. Thanks for coming in. Okay. We have Joyce at five. No other interest. We're going to go once. And we're going to go twice. We're going to do a fair warning. Tooch. Yes, I'm on late. I thought I would come on and do a couple of quick little one-offs to add to people's orders. And we are sold to Joyce for five dollars. Joyce D. All right, Joyce. That's lot number four.
you are going to get me in trouble. I'm supposed to be sleeping. Uh-oh. I know I got to go to sleep soon, too, because I have a really, really busy day tomorrow. All right. So for those of you that are longtime viewers, you might remember these shirts. This is going to be a $5 start. I sold a ton of these shirts. A ton of them, a ton of them. And I found, I think, one or two more. I have to look. So the name of the company is called AnimalPack.com. And it says animal on it. Just animal. Just a big yellow shirt that says animal. And it's a 2XL. And it's going to be $5. $5 for the animal shirt. Anybody know an animal they want to give that to as a gift for the holidays? It's pretty cool, right? If not, right pass. And I'll show you something else. Nicole, we're not gonna I'm not gonna stay on very late, honey. We can all go to bed soon. Except for the night owls that like to stay up until all hours of the night. Pass on it, you guys. Pass, pass, pass. All right, that's a pass. All right, this is this is honey that goes with sad Sam and it's an applause. And this one is a bank and she's complete and it's definitely vintage. It has this tag on it, but it doesn't have the original applause tag, but it does have this one. And she is a $5 starch, $5 for honey. Honey's adorable. And she goes with sad Sam. And she's a cutie pie. And then we've got Beetle Gal at seven. Joyce is at twelve. She's adorable, isn't she? She's so sad. Heather MC's at 15. And Joyce is out. All right, we've got Heather. I think everybody else is out. We're going to go once. I don't know if Amy stepped away. We're going to go twice. Your grandson's dog has eyes like that. For now, I saw your order on the, um, I didn't get to the free plush today, but hopefully I'll get to it tomorrow. I have it all out. I think I did. Um, I sent Lindsay Ann's today that Moses bought her. I sent that one and I think I sent I think I sent three all together, but I have like 12 I think I have to send. So I'll be sending some more tomorrow. And fair warning. And this is honey. Lot number five and it's going to Heather MC. for 15. Thank you for saying no hurry. Heather MC for $15. We're going to say sold. Hi, Mary. Hi, honey. Okay. We're just doing $5 items tonight. We're just going to buzz through. Hi, Susan. <laughs> Susan, you're always complaining that I'm on too early in the morning. So I came on late. Okay. 
I came on late for a little while just for a quick little chit chat and sell off some little one off items. All right. Heather MC gets that one. And okay, this one is really cute. This is a $5 start. Also, Donatella, are you using new email program when sending invoices? No, I'm not. Mm -mm. Okay, this is a Halloween village accessory made to be wild. And it's a Frankenstein on a motorcycle. And this is a $5 start as well. Why do you ask that? Hey, Jim G. I know I just checked my phone and Donna is live. I'm so confused. I, I've been doing late night lives. I mean, not a lot, but sometimes I do them in the morning. Sometimes I do them at night. You just never know. That's why I always say, make sure you hit the bell notification because you never know when I'm just going to go on. I mean, if you would talk to me 30 minutes ago, I was going to bed. <laughs> and then I came here and here I am. The invoice shows up as only text, not the usual invoice form. That's strange. Anybody else's show up like that? Joyce, did yours show up like that? Only text. Hmm. Hmm. It still works. Just asking. That's so weird. Will you take a picture of it and um, and send it to me? I would love to see what you're seeing. M-I-N. Mm, Heather, were you going to say mine did too? That's odd. That's very strange. Nicole's at 16. Should we open it and take a look at it? Whoops. Mine is the same way as always. Okay. Hmm. I wonder. Uh... Oh, it's pretty cool, you guys. Look at it. Hi, Jill. I just decided. <laughs> is Heather here? I don't see her. Oops, sorry. I wasn't looking at the camera. Cool, right? Very cool. Mine was normal. Was it, Jill? Okay, good. Huh, I wonder what happened to yours, Moses. I have no idea what could have happened to yours. I don't know why that happened to yours. Joyce is at 22. Nicole comes in at 24. Oh, Jill comes in at 25. Nope, Heather's not here, Jill. I mean, Susan. <laughs> Jill is at 25. This is lot number six. I love Frankenstein and his bride. Zombie. Look at I'm selling zombies, zombie. Perfect time to come in. <laughs> How are you, Robert? Nicole's at 28. Joyce is out. Thank you, Juice. All right. We've got 28 on the board. Jill, what do you think? Out, honey, or do you want to go to 30? Jill wants to go to 30. Thank you, Jill. <laughs> you guys got each other blocked or what? <laughs> Nicole is out. All right. Jill is at 30. And we are going to go once. And we're going to go twice. Ah, uh, thanks, Robert. Thanks for tuning in. Appreciate it. How is business? How is the plush business? You selling like crazy?
and Jill for thirty dollars. And we are sold, 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 sold to Jill for thirty dollars. Thank you, Jill. That was lot number six, and it is the bike. All right, let's slip this in here. I'm gonna go take a quick peek and make sure that that truly is the last of my Halloween. Um, I have this one. I was. I have, I have this. This one sounds like it's rattling a little bit. I haven't opened it yet, but let's open it up and see. And this was one that I. Since it was kind of a big one, I was going to consider, it's, it's the ghostly manor, you guys. The ghostly manor is the name of it. But we need to look at it because it sounds like it's rattling a little bit. So let's see what's going on with this one. Let's see if it needs to be broken or what. No, nope, it's beautiful. Maybe it's just the, what am I hearing that's rattling? Here, let me just put this up. There's nothing wrong with it. This is what I was hearing. So that needs to get wrapped. And some bubble wrap. Oh, it's missing this connector. Oh, wait a minute. I think I might have an adapter. Hold on a second. I think I saw one in this bucket. Um, let me see. not this one says Grimsley Manor what's this one? Oh yeah Grimsley Manor Grimsley Manor and does this go in here yes Okay, yep, there it is. So, I probably will pack that separately. Okay. Um, what year? It is. Where am I going to find the year, Joe? Department. Oh, there it is. I see it. I see the year. Hold on a second. I need my eyeball. It's so small. Oh, okay. 1999. It's 1999. There it is. And it's got the styrofoam. It's got the original box. Everything is with it. Can you see it okay? No, it's not missing anything. I found it. Let me plug this in so we can get the full effect.
I don't know how this works. It was just working. I don't know. Oh, is it on a timer? Seems like, or is it coming on because I'm touching something? Does anybody know? Well, I don't want to play with that, but both light bulbs work. I just don't know why. Oh. Music, high, low. This was just flashing. It doesn't have any instructions with it, so seems like the bulbs might be loose. Low music. See, this is off, but it's still on. And then, does anybody know anything about this? I don't know how to, I don't know how to work them. I don't know how to work it. You guys will have to figure it out. But this green one was just flashing. And now, and now that one just goes off. Are they on timers? It's supposed to flash. It was just flashing. Did I break it? I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. It, it goes on and off. So maybe the bulbs need to be changed. You just saw that one flashing, but oh, see, it goes on and off. Hi, Vicki. Welcome in. It's controlling itself. It is controlling itself. <laughs> welcome. Welcome, Vicki. If you want to fill out a registration form, um, it's pinned at the top. And zombie is being the welcome wel but wagon. <laughs> so is Susan. <laughs> okay, I'm going to turn this off. I will wrap that carefully. And... Might be sensor activated. Maybe. Acts like it's a loose wire. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. There you are, Saxton. Welcome in. Let's see. Who do we have? We have Jill at 45, right? Anybody else? Let me know if there's anybody else. Joyce is out. And I'll wrap this separately so that um, it won't interfere with the house and rattle around. Is there a spot to put it under? Yes. Yes, there's a spot to put it under. Okay. Now I have to figure out how to put it back into the box. Was it straight this way? I think so, right? Yes. It was like that. And I think this goes, ta-da, I did it. Okay. Come ahead, 
seems so big. Oh, wait a minute. I think I have to do it this way. Okay. All right. Anybody else? Are we done and done? Oh, yeah, he will fix it for sure. Absolutely. Thank you, Susan. All right, we're going to go once. We're going to go once. And we're going to go twice. And we get a fair warning. And we're going to be sold to Miss Jill. Lot number seven, department 56, is going to Jill's house for $45. And we're sold. Sold, sold, sold. That was lot number seven. All right, Miss Jill. Probably should have waited to ship your order. Well, you got two big boxes too today. All right, I'm gonna put this up here. And put that on there. And I shall wrap that. Um, thank you, Jill. Thank you, honey. Yes, I got your orders. Your I, I got. I think I got most all the Halloween orders out right away because I know you guys wanted to um, post them, some of you that had them. Oh, my God, I keep finding them. Okay, here we go. This one is Autumn Halloween Landscape, Department 56. This is what it looks like, and I'm going to open it up. And we'll take a look. So it looks like it's um, definitely been used. And it has trees, a fence, some leaves, a ghost, a crow. What's this guy over here? The joke is on you. That's kind of cute. Oh, thank you, Vicki. Thank you so much. Okay. So this is a landscape. So this is, um, this feels like it's, uh, yeah, this is glass, you guys. This is ceramic, not glass. It's ceramic. He's a little ceramic joker. He's nice. And then there's this tree. Do you see the platform? There's no platform in here, Mary. Is there supposed to be a platform? Let's see. Set of six. Six pieces. Only friendly ghosts are allowed beyond the wired, wired wooden fence. The variety of trees included in the set are easily to maintain. There's no platform. It's just the trees, the ghost, the crow, the leaves, and the fence. And that joker. Look at how cute the fences though look. And this is um this is all ceramic. These pumpkins with the cat. That's one piece of the fence. This is so cute if you bought Halloween houses. And then there's that tree. It is very cute. Let's set it up. But I'm not gonna I'm not gonna um I'm not gonna brush out the you know open up the trees. 
And then there's this tree and this tree. And ah, uh, so this crow is broken. So this, you see here, see that spot? That's where this is supposed to go, this crow tree. So that crow tree is broken. You have to super glue that back on. And here is some more fence. It's still really cute. And then this probably hangs from somewhere. Hang him from there. And then there's this guy. Joke is on you. And then there's a whole bunch of these leaves. And there you have it. <laughs> I just set it up. It's cute. It would be really cute once you open up the trees. It's adorable. Hey, wheels and deals. Welcome in. Yeah, so just the crow was broken on it. You guys, you gotta you gotta super glue the crow or two-part epoxy it. Probably would be better to two-part epoxy it. All right, I'm gonna put it all back. It's like craps with Donna night. <laughs> Let's do craps. I don't know if there's supposed to be a platform, to be honest with you. It doesn't, doesn't say that, that there's a platform with that. I don't know if there's pieces missing or not. This is all I got. But I think it's adorable, especially if you're, if you're buying stuff to set up. A Halloween village, if you're um, buying to um, to uh, sell it, you probably could even piece out these pieces. They say Department 56 on them. So, you know, Courtney from Bolo Buddies, she parts out pieces all the time. Like somebody might be interested in just buying this, you know, cute fence, right, with the pumpkins. If there's pieces missing on it, you'll have to look online and say, I have no idea. I don't know anything about this stuff, you guys. I just had an opportunity, and I bought it. And so, yeah, I have no idea. No idea. It sells as a set. Oh, does it? Mm-hmm. Oh, good night. Yes, I'm getting too old, too. Okay, Jill's going to take it for 12. Is there anybody else? We're going to go once. And we're going to go twice. And we're going to do a fair warning. And it's lot number eight, and it's Jill. for $12. Right. Let me just make a slip for it. I'm going to take one more quick look up on my shelf and make sure that all of the Halloween is done. That there's no Halloween. Let's see. That's all Christmas down there. That's all Christmas. That's all Christmas. Let me look on this side. 
it's this one. This one's beautiful. It's not Halloween, but it's really beautiful. Okay. So I'm going to do some of these. If somebody, so these look, these work really cute as night lights too, you guys. So keep that in mind. If somebody wants to buy one of these to have for Christmas decorations, they're not Department 56. It says Holiday Time Vintage Village, and I happen to love this one because it's white. Let me show it to you. It's a white one. It just says holiday holiday time. And this is gonna be five dollars. Five dollars for this one. And it's just like a night light for Christmas. Or for any time of year, really. It doesn't really say Christmas on it. It says holiday time, but it looks like it's like a a white house. Five dollars start on that if there's anybody that's interested. Pass. Amy likes it for five. Yeah, pretty right, Amy. I mean, it, you could use that in the bathroom, in a bedroom, just to, you know, give off a little bit of, you know, nightlight. So pretty. I love it. I love that it's white. Joyce comes in at 10. It's too much work to take out. It's got the light in it. It's like really like nestled in that styrofoam. I'll have such a hard time getting it back in the box. I'm not going to, I'm not going to just use your imagination. I wanted to plug it in to see how pretty it was because I think it's beautiful. But use your imagination and how pretty it is. <laughs> Amy comes in at 12. Thank you for bidding searching for treasures. Thank you, Joyce. It's lot number nine. I'm going to call it the White House. All right. Let us know. Joyce and searching for treasures. We're going to go once. Joyce comes in at 14. Thank you, Joyce. I have an all white nativity set that I got as a wedding gift that I haven't put up in a while. Um, but I just absolutely love it. I used to collect, um, I not collect them. I just, I, I loved nativities and I had so many of them around. I can't say I collected them. I just, I loved them. So I, I had, I had a nativity under the tree at Christmas time. And then I was that crazy lady that I put a bed, I put Christmas trees in the kids' bedrooms. I even had a Christmas tree in the master bedroom. I had a nativity set set up in the master bedroom. I had a nativity set set up in the front foyer when you walked in on the credenza. I, I just, I loved nativity sets, loved. I've kind of gotten away from them. You know, now my thing is I love Madonna, but, um, I, I, it's something about nativity sets. I love them. I don't know why that reminded me of nativity set, but 
Yeah. Okay, so we've got Joyce at 14, and we're going to go once. Amy's out. We're going to go twice. And we're going to do a fair warning. And we're going to call it the White House. And Joyce D is going to get it for $14. Oh, thanks, Joyce. You're my hero, too, honey. I'm telling you. I just want to thank you so, so much. You've been such a great support to me. I mean, I just honestly, you're amazing. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much. I'm going to go to bed right behind you, honey, because I have a really, really busy day tomorrow. And this is the White House. Congratulations, Joyce. All right. Let this go on to Joyce's. And then I'm going to show this one, which is called Santa's Workbench, Nim's Nook Porcelain House. Let's see. Oh, I thought it was brand new. No, it's been opened. And here it is. Five dollars. You do, Amy. You love nativities as well. I know. I love them. My kids had. Um, I. I had. I had gotten this. It was. I still have some pieces to it. I. Some of the pieces are missing. The kids used to always want to play with my nativities, and most of my nativities are. Um, I still have them. They're just packed away. Most of my nativities are, you know, glass, and they always wanted to play with them. So I got the kids a um, a wooden one. It's a wooden, um, hand-carved wooden nativity so that it wouldn't break. Um, I love for reals. Do you, Shelly? All right. I, I have some. <laughs> I just need to check their batteries. That one's a for real up there, that beautiful tiger, but I just need to change the batteries. Um, my husband made me pare them down. That husband of yours, terrible. But anyways, I, so I got them, um, I got them a wooden one and they would like, they would play, you know, with the nativities, with the wooden one. And then one year, Oh gosh, I haven't thought about this in a really, really long time. My husband um, was replacing uh, cedar shingles on someone's house because you know he's a contractor, right? And there was he had a whole bunch of cedar shingles left over from a job that he had, and so I went and I bought some some green moss at the craft store, and I took the cedar shingles and I built for the wooden for the little wooden nativity for the kids. Um, it didn't come with the actual you know nativity house, and I built a beautiful one with, you know, just little nails and a hammer. I built a beautiful, beautiful nativity. And I even had like a little stall because their nativity had like three lambs and it had the cow and it had the donkey. Um, it had a bunch of animals and I built a little stall on this and it was big. It was like this big, you know, it was really, really big because, you know, four kids and they all used to play with it. So it was big enough that they could all kind of play with it during the holidays. And I did, I built, I built a nativity and I remember my husband coming home and he was like, wow, you did such a great job. And then I put, um, I found a star, a beautiful star, and I put a star and an angel on the top of it. I mounted the angel kind of in the front, and I put the star like kind of set in the back, like a really big, beautiful star. Yeah. Moss and hay. I put hay in it. I used to love to craft with the kids when the kids were little. We used to do crafts all the time. Yeah, it was really awesome. Okay, is anybody interested in the Santa workbench?
five dollars start on the santa workbench and it is nim's nook porcelain house and that's the picture of it Pass on it. Are you guys just watching? No one's talking. How come no one's talking in the chat? Everybody's so quiet. Why is everybody so quiet tonight? Nose picking. Hello, nose. Nose. If you can remember... Send me a text tomorrow because I have those masks. Um, Miss Ivy Vintage Market, hello. I finally have time to wind down a bit. Good for you. We we're listening to your story. <laughs> Brad Voigt, talk, 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 talk. Oh, you know my personality, but Brad, I can't change my personality. I just, I don't even know what made me think of the nativity. And then I just thought about that nativity that I made for the children. You know how many years ago that was? Oh, my God. That was like 16. I don't think I've ever, like, thought about that story. That was like 16, 15, 16 years ago that I made that for the children. I was telling my daughter a story that I hadn't, I hadn't remembered about in a really long time yesterday when we were together. I, I was, I was, oh, I was telling her how when the kids were little, I used to take them to the bushel stop all the time to run around. And she said she doesn't remember doing that, but she was two years old. She was like two and three years old when we used to go to the bushel stop. My health has been bad. I will get to that soon. Okay, nose. What do you mean your health has been bad? Are you okay? I hope you're fine. I don't like to hear that when people say their health has been bad. And you guys, prayers to Frank. We still haven't seen him. Frank Perez. Frank, if you're watching in the background, or if you're watching this at a later time, we're all thinking of you. All right, we're going to go once to knows. And we're going to go twice to nose. And we're going to put a fear warning. And this is going to go to nose again. For $5. For the Santa workbench. All right, you guys, I have a whole bunch of $5 items that I could sell you all night long. No, Amy, he's really sick, honey. Frank is really sick. He's um, been in the hospital. Yeah. So, okay, <clears throat> you guys, I just wanted to come on and do a qu quick 10 lots with you guys. I have to go and I have to go to bed because I have a wicked, wicked, wicked busy day tomorrow. Like so wicked busy. And um, I talked to T today. She said that she's going to try to come on tomorrow after Mr. Buys a Lot. Um, I won't be coming on after Mr. Buys a lot. She might come on by herself. I might pop in and say hello, but, um, probably tomorrow night I'll come on. Not this late. Just watch for my notification. I, I, I'll try to give it some time. Um, 
Thank you, Shelly. Thank you so much. Yeah, I need to get some rest. But I did. I just wanted to come on, and I have a bunch of orders that, and I figured, well, let me just see if I can do some quick $5 sales and combine them with the orders that are going out. Thank you, Amy. Blessings to you too, sweetheart. Thank you, Lindsay Ann. You guys, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and come back and make a um, comment on the video if you can. All right, and watch for tea stream tomorrow and probably watch for me to come on live tomorrow night. You know me, seven days a week, right? Rest is important. Have a nice evening. Thank you, Miss Ivy. Thank you for coming in. I appreciate it. All right, you guys, love you. Thanks for the love and support. Everybody have a blessed evening.